everybody and welcome back to my channel and those of you who are new welcome I'm glad that you stopped by to check us out today we are at um, the Clear Creek Metro Park in Rockbridge Ohio this is stuff that we've done in the winter time so this is the first time we're doing it in the summer so we thought that we would try to fit 10 miles in by looping different trails and doing different loops and whatnot because my goal is to get 10 miles in a week and I'm going to work soon so I'm trying to get 10 miles in wherever I can. So here we go, off on our journey. That's okay, so we're doing everything via our phone right now. Um, left the GoPro, whoopsie. But um, I wanted to show you the nice green, lush, I guess canopy tunnel that we get to walk for the first mile. This is also um, the dog trail, so we may into some furry little friends along the way but we will take this and we're going to go up Chemlock probably go up around cemetery go over by Lake Ramona come back down and then hit the um what was the other trail fern on the way down and we figured that'll give us depending on where we walk if we walk, walk Lake Ramona 10 miles but let's see what happens um, our first bottle I hope the hills aren't muddy Goodness. Should I just run right straight through it? Just straight through it. Swimming pool. Mucky one. Right next to this little hill, mountain, I don't know, hiking hills area is what we're in. And it is absolutely beautiful. And we're going to follow this trail down here a little bit more. And we're heading right up those mountains. Can't wait. Do you know the plants beside you are taller than you? Oh, they weren't that tall when we were out here last time. They were knee high to a grasshopper. I can't believe this. We're going to get lost in the woods. Yeah. It's like our own little getaway. It's quite in this water as last time when we were out here. Still makes me want to go for a swim though. So in Ohio we have metro parks and when you're in metro parks it tells you like difficulties of the trails. This is Hemlock Trail. We're starting on 1.5 miles, steep, rugged terrain, approximately 48 minutes. But um, it also tells you that it goes to Cemetery Ridge Trail, which is 1.8 miles ahead. Now uh, these trails are talked about difficulties. Um, difficulty levels and when it's rugged terrain it's more of an extreme difficult level but we bring Emmett on these it takes a little bit more than 48 minutes with a little four-year-old with a little bear bait but we bring him on these rugged trails with us and he just doesn't carry a pack and it just means sometimes we have to slow up but today we're trying to make some time so we're trying to do it in less than 48 minutes up this hill so we didn't bring him today, but we are off on the trail. I'll get you some views, some steepness, some down slopes. It's beautiful, I love all the pine trees. It definitely does. Keeps the sunburn off me. And it looks like we're about ready to get to the fun part of this trail. Right across this bridge. And as you can see, as mom always does to me every hike, up, 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 and away. Hopefully this one's not as bad as Shawnee though. Cross my fingers. Water crossing. Look, somebody made us a nice mud crossing. 
I appreciate whoever did that for us. Thank you, bunches. Hi, guys. Just want to check in. We're, we're halfway up the hill. And that's where we're going. Straight up that way. Yeah, Around the corner and then it goes up some more. And we should be at the top almost. We're almost there. All right. Okay, guys. So we made it to the first top of our flat incline. We have a couple more to go. A couple more mountains to climb. But look at that. How pretty is that down there? Got the Hobbit way up there. So I said hi to the Hobbit. All right. Check in again with you guys when make it Okay, Bobby. almost. <laughs> we were almost to the top of the hill, right? Yep. Yeah. Almost. We did make it to one top of one hill. Well, we were still coming up from that. And we still got to go up that. Almost so, to the top hill. Almost. Okay guys, according to the weather today, there was not supposed to be any rain. Supposed to be no clouds either. But we reached the final peak of our first and final, well, or our first, but our final. I hope it's our final hill. Sure. 500 feet from here, we go straight downhill. Then we do some switch back, back up to we're still debating that. We'll see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> but it sure feels like rain, which I might not complain too much because I am so hot right now. The rain would probably feel wonderful. What about you, Hobbit? What was that? Are you looking forward to the rain? Okay, so if you look around, you're gonna see, I don't know, those look like nice little schools, but you see all this new trees and debris and stuff that's here. This wasn't here in January. But um, it looks like we might have had some storms that threw some trees down. So they maintain the trail pretty well. So now we get to go down, 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 up some switchbacks and hit um, for the trail then. Burn trail. <laughs> So guys, mom was right. Yes, I was. Pregnant. Almost, almost things she knows what she's talking about. But behind me, you can't really see it. But there was a steep hill that we came down. And I told her we'd come down a steep hill and go back up some switchbacks. Look what we're going up. So we're going to go across that bridge right there. And then we're going to go right back up that mountain before we even hit another trail. All right, guys. See you later. Okay guys, so we're off Hemlock now. Made the fern. We're gonna go up Fern. Fern. We're each a cemetery road. Cemetery road, cemetery trail, ridge trail. Whatever the trail is. And we're gonna make a decision from there. According to our GPS, we've gone slightly over three miles. According to the map, I don't know how much I hate that map. We've only gone two miles. So we're going to check out mileage at the next point. Check in with you guys then. So bye to the Hobbit. Okay, so we are about 3.4 miles in and it looks sunny, but there is some nasty looking clouds. I don't know if you can see them coming in and thunder. So it's going to take us about three miles on the way that we're three to four miles to get out maybe about three miles, it's about three miles to get out so we are um, going to start out and I hate to be complaining and to bring it up but that ankle has done I don't know it, it, it the ankle's not so bad it's like the heel now and um, listen to your body people and don't push it I have to go to work here in a little over two weeks and I need my feet for work so I am not going to push it for the 10 miles we figured six miles today would be enough especially with the fender rolling in so We'll try to catch some footage on our way down. Okay, 
So we're trying to outrun this thunderstorm. You might end up hearing a thunder, but it's really black behind almost back there. And this is what we have to go down. Half a mile going down these little rocks and stuff all the way down. Almost turn around and see if you can show up. I tried a minute ago. It's hard to see through the camera. It's moving pretty fast, and so I don't know if we can outrun it with my heel and ankle being so sore, but we're going to give it our darn best because we still probably have, oh, you hear that thunder? Yeah, so we're going to get off. We're going to hustle down, so it probably won't, might not be for a minute in the video. I'm going to try to direct Mom um, not to run off any more cliffs anymore. Either. Okay, so we're out of here for a bit. Bye-bye. Okay, so we got Ock Mountain. We are at, I guess, Burn Picnic area. So, we have to go down that trail about a mile and a half. It shouldn't be bad except for the fact that it's thundering. Mm -hmm. And we are being sprinkled on. So, I don't know if we'll get any more footage until we get back to the car because this trail is full of mud and I don't want my phone out when it's raining and we're taking all videos this time via phone so we'll see how much we get so we'll see you back at so the we're car back at the car now um the rain clouds are still right there following us i think that they're just our little rain cloud today because behind it's blue sky so we did six miles in um about three hours so it was about two miles an hour and um i slowed us up at the end because for some reason, it's not my ankle so much that's hurting, it's that heel on that foot, so I gotta go get that checked out because I wanna be healthy when I hit the AT. So what'd you think of the hike, almost? It's almost all uphill. <laughs> yes, it is. Almost is right. It's almost all uphill um, because I take the challenging courses because I need to work out. I know she doesn't need to I do. prepare for the AT, but I need to prepare. So I take the most challenging courses that I can I only carried about 18 pounds on my back because I knew that I was trying to rehabilitate this ankle a little bit more. But we are now leaving the um, Clear, Clear Creek Metro Park at um, Rockbridge, Ohio. So go out and check your metro parks. I got trails that go over wheelchair accessible, um, moderate to difficult, um, easy. easy. We choose the difficult and we have a reason for that. But there's a lot of easy trails out there that are fun. Get outside and enjoy yourself and stay tuned for next week. I don't know what it's going to be yet. I'm going to be surprised. I'm, but I've got a lot of things I'm trying to figure it out so I can try to get some miles in, get some trails in, some overnights in before I go back to work. So stay tuned. Love y'all.